Welcome to Lesson 9 with EFT Tapping and A Course in Miracles. I see nothing as it is now. You can watch Lesson 1 for the overall context and background about how this all works and what this is with the tapping. But let's explore and jump right into tapping on this one. This is, again, another one where we will be able to do one round of the instructed exercise for the day during the actual tapping process. So, even though... I am being told that I see nothing as it is now, and that while I may understand on some intellectual level how I might be seeing the past or projecting a future. I'm told it is unlikely that this will mean anything to me yet. And whatever feelings those words bring up, I choose to honor and accept myself anyway. Even though I'm told that I see nothing as it is now. I choose to honor myself and any reactions this brings up in me. Even though this lesson is having me say that I don't see anything. Apparently, even the objects right in front of my eyes, exactly as they are now. And the exercise even says that this might be difficult to believe, but that I don't have to believe it in order for this practice to be effective and light a little bit of darkness. And I choose to honor and accept myself and all the thoughts, feelings, emotions, concepts, agreements or disagreements, especially resistance, that this exercise specifically says might arise. And I honor and accept myself fully in this process. Okay, now through the points. I see nothing as it is now. I'm told this will be hard to grasp. I've already done some past lessons about how I see a past or project a future. Maybe I've read or practiced spirituality and feel like I kind of already get this concept. But I'm being told I probably don't. And that this is a practice and a perception not an intellectual understanding. I'm told that my mind is untrained here, and I acknowledge any feelings that brings up. And how confronting of an idea it might actually be 
to suggest that everything I'm seeing, I'm somehow not actually seeing it. That's actually quite confronting. So what is actually there? What is it really? And just as the exercise for the day talks about in the text, I don't actually have to know. I don't have to fully get it in order to receive benefits from the practice. A practice which we will now do. And I am reminding myself to apply this idea to anything I lay my eyes upon. Taking some care to notice if I'm tempted to exclude anything and then just proceeding with that object as with the others. Okay, let's do it together now. We're going to keep tapping and just look at whatever objects in the uh, nearest to you that your eyes lay upon. And I will use the word blank for that object. And here we go. I do not see blank as it is now. I do not see blank as it is now. I do not see blank as it is now. I do not see blank as it is now. I do not see blank as it is now. And now letting your eyes gaze further, for example, out your window. I do not see blank as it is now. I do not see blank as it is now. I do not see blank as it is now. And I'm appreciating myself for doing this exercise. I'm told two or three more times today is enough. And I choose to remain open to this idea that I am not seeing things as they are. without feeling a pressure to understand it. And just trusting the process. Allowing each day to unfold as it will. Okay, take a breath. Let me know your thoughts, experiences, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for Lesson 10. Thanks.